Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the concept of unions. If you have missed the previous video about joints, do check that out in the description section. I've also attached links to some other basic concepts like bad having and other interesting topics. Do check them out as well. Let's get started with today's topic, which is about unions. Okay. Val can be used unions in SQL. It is very powerful and it can be used to combine two tables and append them one after the other, right? What do you mean by append is? So you will take one table, right? Like you'll output one table of data and you want to output the second table of data below the first table of data, right? That is what I mean by append. When we see an example, you will understand better. So we have our usual table, uh, cricket.marks with the student ID, the name of the student, the section he belongs to, his marks in midterm exam, his marks in final exam, right? We have 10 rows here, as you have seen multiple times in previous videos. This is table number one. I've also added a second table, which is called as marks three, and it has four outputs. So the rows, the columns are the same, but there are only four rows, right? We have few more student names. And if you notice closely, we have Ajay, section B, and 96 and 59 are his marks. We have this data also in this table, right? It's kind of the same data, but it is also there in the other table. Just keep this in mind as we progress in the video, right? So marks three is another table, very much similar to marks, uh, just the number of rows are different, okay? Say I want it, so it's a bit difficult to see this table separately and this table separately, right? Say I wanted to combine the two outputs together, right? So marks table, if you see, has 10 rows of data as I scrolled up and marks three has four rows of data, right? That's it, just four rows. Say I wanted to combine the two together. How would we do that in SQL? By using the union, okay? So you would say select star from cricket marks you could give it an alias name A, but it's not a must here. So I'll take type union, which is the uh, syntax. And then I would just do the select star from and the other table name, right? Cricket.marks3. So when you run this, let's see what happens. We get 13 rows, okay? So we get the first 10 rows of the first table and we get only three rows from the second table. What is happening here is in the second table, the repeated value or the duplicate value, the Ajay value is being removed because it's already occurring in the first table, right? First table data, okay? So instead of getting 14 rows, we are getting 13 rows because that duplicate has been eliminated. This is how we can do an union and try to append one table over the other and see them together as one output. Union all is a small variation of union. Just see what happens when I run union all. We get 14 rows. What's happening now? So first table as usual, we get the 10 rows, right? 10 IDs. Second table marks three, we are again getting the HA row values. So what happens in union all is, it does not remove the duplicates, right? It, it still keeps the duplicate row in play. And that is why we're getting 14 rows, 10 plus four, whereas, in the union case, we found out that the duplicate actually got removed, right? After uh, the 10th idea of uh, table one, the J value for table two is taken away. That row is taken away because union does not allow duplicates, okay? Very simple, powerful concept, again, which you can leverage to combine two tables and append them together in one output, okay? You need to be really careful when using union. You have to only append tables when it makes sense. What do I mean by this is, let us take another table, okay? Let us say I consider another table called language, which we also saw in the join video. So here I have only student ID and uh, foreign language, right? Just two columns, okay? So if you want to join marks table with language table, we already see that in the last video. But if you want to do a union of marks table and language table, do you think it will make sense? Let me just select the marks table again. So we have student ID, name, section, midterm mark, final mark. Here we have student ID and foreign language, right? Do you think it makes sense to union these two tables? Probably not, right? Because language or the foreign language column in this table is missing from this table. 
but still when you run a union the query will work but it will display a weird output which i'm going to show you now okay let us say i select a dot student id and a dot name i want to uh, select these two columns and i give it an alias name a and when i say union and then i select b dot student id okay and b dot uh, foreign language from the other table from cricket dot language and i give it an alias name b okay when i run this you get a weird output so first table is fine student id we're getting the name so till id 10 is there then what happens is since the number of columns are same in both tables we are just selecting two columns from here and two columns from here we are getting an output but just see what are we getting from the language table we get the student id which is fine but we get the foreign language value in the name column right so the union is working but this does not even make sense right because we have names for the first table and second table we have the language so in such a case it's as you see in the previous video it's good to do a join to display the name of the foreign language side along the side of the first table using an union does not make much sense here so do keep this in mind union has specific use cases where it is uh, useful if you like this video do subscribe to the channel do check out the other videos on basic topics in sql i have linked the playlist in the description section and if you like the video do share it with your friends this is a great way for them to learn sql i will see you again in another video till then take care bye